All right, guys, we move into the third part of the lesson today, serving food from a food platter. Food platter we use in English, French, uh, banquet service, Russian service, a lot of times on the cruise line. Uh, this is one of the quickest way to serve uh, guests. And that's why you have to know at least the basics and have some experience, some practice with carrying the platter and serving the platter with fork and spoon. And that's what we're gonna talk right now. Now, when you get the platter from the kitchen, the chef has prepared the food for you, ordinarily. You have the meat or the fish, whatever you serve as a protein in front of you. On the left side, you have the potatoes. On the right side, you have the salad or the tomatoes or whatever you're gonna put on the plates of the guest. You carry the platter always with your left hand and you carry it the way I do it right now. So you can put this platter all the way down to the guest plate and serve the food with the spoon and the fork. We serve the food always from the left side with the right hand. That's why we carry the platter with the left hand. You go as close as possible to the guest plate. So the guest sitting here, you come, serve. Today we have steak, potatoes and tomatoes or potatoes, broccoli, whatever you have, whatever you have prepared, you explain to the guests, may I serve you? Yes, please. Now, there are two different types of grips with a spoon and a fork. One is the grip that we serve, the meat, the fish, everything that's fragile, because you can scoop it from the bottom, just lightly press it with the fork on the top, and then just place it in front of the guest. The protein, you know, whatever it is, the meat or the fish, stays always right in front of the guest on the plate of the guest. And then the salads and the other dishes go around the plate. Now, as you see, I just switched my grip to pick up this lemon, which probably not gonna serve never, but uh, let's say it's a tomato or something, or the potatoes. You cannot pick up the potato with this grip because the potatoes will be warm, they will be very sleazy uh, and uh, very possible that if you take it with this grip, it's just going to fly away from your um, spoon. So always when you take something round, something very um, sleazy, whatever, just make sure that you turn the fork and you can just take it like that. Now it's secured, it cannot move, and you can just put it back in the plate of the guest. Now, you never serve like that. You don't pick up the meat from so high and put it down, because by the time you put it down, some sauce is going to fall on the plate and sparkle all over the guest, and it's going to be a disaster. You don't do it from the side. You don't leave this place between the plate and the platter, because the same thing. You take it, you start moving it, and the sauce will drip all over the tablecloth, you mess up the table. So what we do is, we go as close as possible to the plate of the guest. Basically, the, the rim of the platter should be on the rim of the plate. And then you start serving. You put the meat, and then you put whatever the side dishes are. There you go, sir, enjoy your meal. You back off. And you move to the next guest now basically that's all it is guys of course i have a video about that on the lesson you can check all the extra videos because they are with way much more information uh, much more uh, details to show you how to do things and why we do it this way uh, this is just the basics this platter high it's heavy you know when you put uh, a food for eight people everything's on this platter you gotta be able to carry this thing long ways really long time and just go from one guest to another guest to another guest on the table and serve them all at once and uh, that means that your hands gonna get tired it's gonna get shaky that's why guys it's always very important that we keep in good shape Take 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes, 40 minutes if you can. Uh, do some push-ups. Like I said, this 
I did a video about that. It's a very important tool. I use it all the time when I do fitness. It strengthens your fingers, strengthens your hands. So make sure that uh, you, you can use one of those two. It doesn't cost much, five bucks. Link is down below on the video. Um, yes, the only one thing I should show you right now is how to work with this easy and efficiently. The first thing to do is put the spoon. The spoon we hold with those three fingers. And it's like that. And what I do is with this little finger, I squeeze it really hard. I mean, not too hard, but hard. So it doesn't move. This is secured now and it stays like that. This finger hold it here, this finger hold it here, that's it. The fork, we operate the fork with these two fingers. This doesn't move, that stays stable. We operate the fork with those two fingers. And I keep the fork, the back end of the fork, pressed to my middle finger, or whatever finger that is. So, index finger and thumb hold the fork and move it around. And that's what you do. And then when you have to take the big potatoes, you just turn the fork around. Nothing special, nothing difficult. You can learn doing this uh, nice and easy. Yeah? Just push a little bit further so you have more, more room to move. And that's it. That's all it takes, guys. That's the way to hold the spoon. You find people holding it totally different ways but this is what I do for the last 25 30 years serves me perfectly never had a problem never had an accident so do it like that keep it with those three fingers then the fork with the index finger and the thumb and then you just move around and it takes a little practice but it's nothing special. You stay at home right now, you go, you take your spoon, you take your fork, and you start moving things around. I gotta tell you, when I started working on a cruise, I had no idea how to serve food from a food platter. My metro D saw that, he was pissed off. He sent me with a tray and a bunch of potatoes, bunch of potatoes to keep moving from the plate to the tray and backward. Two hours later, <laughs> I was the best motherfucker in the world serving from a food platter. So that's how you should do it too. Take two hours, practice it, and then when you go to the restaurant, you can be the best waiter in the world with spoon and fork and serving from a food platter. And that's all you need to know about serving from food platter.